What's up, y'all? It's your boy Tay Day, all day back again with another episode. And today, I want to go ahead and speak on the Kevin Samuels situation and understanding that if you've never heard of Kevin Samuels or you've only really looked at a few of his videos um, and understand that maybe your opinion may be uh, that he is a um, you know a womanizer or a narcissist um, against black women. I just want you guys to understand that this guy was you know when I first heard him and started looking into him and watching more of his videos. Um, I, I believe the same thing. So I definitely understand that he was, uh, you know, how you feel if you only seen a few of his videos uh, or more of just his latest videos. I get it. I understand that because he does, he did come off very strongly in some of his videos. And some, he did do some unnecessary things as far as like hanging up on women or how he talks to women. Uh, it can seem and look very, uh, very aggressive and very narcissistic. Or narcissistic. I can't even say the word, but you guys know what I mean. So, um, but as I started looking back and seeing how far this goes and learning more about uh, Kevin Samuels, I want you people to know that if you didn't know before, now you do. Kevin Samuels did start off talking to men and preaching to men about how they need to do better. He was aiming his lifestyle consulting at men and how, to, uh, and spe specifically black men, on doing better. He was trying to fix the, you know, the, the stereotype, the norm of understanding that black fathers are not around for their children. And also, he wanted us to become more educated and, or doing more things to help the community rise and, and that way we'll be less, uh, on the, less people on the street and more people, um, you know, in building relationships, uh, building societies, owning societies, as in on the political stage, or if we're saying in the real estate, uh, real estate stage, however it may be, he wanted to see more of us black, uh, black men winning. Now, there was no issue when he was dogging black men. Black women, or women just in general, are the ones that made Kevin Samuels the most famous you know, or the you know, just just as famous as he was. He they made him the star. He was fine. He was doing fine before. However, they made him this big celebrity because once he started targeting, uh, you know, or not even he started to target. It actually was women that started targeting um, him and what he had to say, and so. He started, uh, you know, started allowing these women to come in and uh, speak, uh, tell their story. And this is how it all begun. Now, no one cared. Again, I want you to know the impact of how women in general did not give a fuck about men. Not men just, you know, I won't even say in general. I'm just going to say men's feelings because it didn't, you know, it wasn't a big deal for a lot of women. And nobody knew who Kevin Samuels was for, the, you know, for the time that he was doing that, which it wasn't like he was just did it for a couple weeks or a couple months. Kevin Samuels started his whole background off of that, off of dealing with men, how they should look, dress, take care of themselves, talk, how they should be, how they should work harder. If you ain't working, uh, you know his one of his famous phrases was that if you was if you are a man and you single, and you in your early twenties, and you ain't working working sixty hours plus a week, you lazy basically. 
There's something wrong with you. And he's talking to men about how they should build a home. If you want a wife, you want kids, or you want this, a successful man is not built off of money. It's built off of who they can put in their house. That's why they that's why they say a woman makes a house a home. Because they can have a big house. It's many, you know, it's many, many of those three percenters, one percent of men that are single. And so we out here trying to make sure and figure out, well, how is this? You know? How it did Kevin Samuels get to where he was? It's because of the women. So many women. Because what women do is, I mean, shit, they are dramatic. And they will, anything they don't like that they hear, any comment, even if there was just a side, little side quest, little tangent that he went on about women that said something bad, they're going to share that shit and try to destroy this person. And so, why not? Why not just listen in and then see why he's saying it? Because some women do understand what happened. And that's why some women do was praising him. Because they were here, they were tuning in to hear his opinion. And again, like I said on, I've said on several other my podcasts, is that women are emotional responders and also... For me personally, I believe that everybody in their first five, ten seconds of meeting somebody, they judge them based off of what they're saying or what they look like. So it's all about presentation. If you want to give a good, I you know, give a good spark to your relationship, a new relationship, it's all about presentation. And so with Kevin Samuels, he's always suited, dressed up nice. Got good, uh, cool music playing. Very elegant type of guy. So it was very hard for people to give shots on him as a physical person. When they see him, he's always dressed nice. Dressed to impress. Looking good. So you really never hear anybody talking about how he looked. They only talked about what he was saying. And a lot of women don't want to eat that pill because they're emotional responders. And I'm a, I'm a firm believer into that as well. Because women, the first thing a woman to say is when a, a guy agrees with Kevin Samuels is that, oh, you're a narcissist. Oh, you're, oh, you're one of those type of men that just hate women. I don't hate women. I love women. I just don't like when women can't comprehend something that's not in their agenda. I don't like women that don't want to listen and understand a male a man's feelings and when they try to tell you their feelings it's of low priority if any i ran into that many times and women always only use things to their advantage a man threatens to leave a man threatens to call the police on you women yell are oh, you a bitch are oh, you a pussy you ain't no man Bitch, defined a man. Kevin Samuels was out here holding not only women, but men accountable for what they are doing out here. He was holding everybody accountable. He never used his excuse for his diagnosis that he had. No one knew about it because he never talked about it. He said his piece. And I never was a Kevin Samuels fan until I was listening. I stopped with the judgment because I kept hearing, not liking how he's talking. I had my beliefs of how he should be talking to these people. But he was always standing in a dominant position. And if you weren't listening to him, he's going to hang up on your ass. Cuss you out, you know, and move you to the side. I get it. That's still him. I understand this is how he gets his message across. However, I'm not that aggressive. 
I'm not passive, but I'm not that aggressive either. So I wanted everybody to understand that when you got somebody like that, you need to be able to understand the message that's there. That's why he wants you to listen and finish his sentence so you can listen more than speak. We have two ears, one mouth. Listen twice as much as you talk. So when you're talking, you want to just tell your side and want them to hear you. But you ain't listening to them. And that's why Kevin Samuels was bashed so often. I'm not going to say I agreed with 100% of his stuff, because I didn't. There's, there's various things that I could say that it wasn't, you know, it was like, okay, like, dude, like, I don't believe women need to be in the house. I don't believe that women uh, need to bow down to a man. I don't. A woman can have a job, and, a, and you know, I believe it's relationship to relationship when it comes down to it. Okay? And in some instances, he was able to address that. Because it based on every individual couple, okay, any relationship, y'all need to just be able to be compatible with understanding who's do, who, do, who do what. Like, in my relationship, I got a woman that loves to do yard work because she likes, she wants to have plants and stuff like that. So she does yard work, you know. So sometimes people will see her cutting the yard and be like, oh, your man should be doing that. No, that's what she wants. Sometimes my woman likes to build or uh, fix things like the dryer or the washing machine or, or, you know, something else, the TV in the house. That's what she wants to do. She really, She likes to do it. It's not that she just, you know, it's not like I'm just lazy. She likes to do it. So people need to understand that there's some jobs that are known to be quote-unquote manly. However, it ain't really a manly thing. What is manly nowadays? If Since everybody has the same privileges, any man, a man there's, there are male strip clubs, there's women's strip clubs, there's bisexual strip clubs or unisex strip clubs. There's, I mean, everybody can do everything, you know? So what's the point of holding these same traditions? Because back in the day, women were restricted from doing things, but now they're not. So don't, women can't, or you, you, women are not allowed to in a modern day say what's manly or not. We don't know what's manly. Men are walking around here with goddamn purses strapped to them themselves. Made it a style. People used to laugh when you caught a man with a fanny pack. Go back 15 years ago, 20 years ago. You was laughing if you saw somebody with a fanny pack. Now these kids out here dancing with them. Got wearing pink back in the day. You know, it, pink wasn't cool all these years. Now it's cool. So we got to understand that things change and you can't just pick and choose what you want out of it. Kevin Samuels was trying to help these young men and young women understand that either you're going to be a traditional woman or you're going to be a modern woman. You can't be in the middle. It's one or the other. If you're giving up, your ass, if you're giving up ass now and you got kids, quit trying to get a six-figure single man that's six foot tall. It's not going to happen. Why would he do that? Why would he make half a million dollars and then have to spend it on three kids? That ain't his. Be real. So, you know, rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. And I'm I'm happy that his messages are still getting out. People are still sharing it. And there are some men and women that are still sharing his information, trying to help everybody understand that. Because people were bashing and thinking, oh, good riddance with him. He was toxic. He was a narcissist. He wasn't good for the world. Bullshit. You just mad because somebody exposed your ass. And he don't even know you personally. So get over it. Move on. And you need to be educated. Keep a student mentality, not the teacher. Because you don't know a lot of this shit. Especially these girls out here that's running around here shaking their ass. Walk their kids around. Thank you guys for listening to my short little video about Kevin Samuels. Please make sure you like and share this. Today is 
Out.